Hello, today we're going to be doing a fuel filter change install on a Detroit diesel 15 liter engine and our Fleet Guard branded FK13850 part number will also work on a Detroit diesel 13 liter and 16 liter engine. So some tools that you'll need would be a half inch ratchet, a 36 millimeter socket, and it's always a good idea to have a drain pan so you don't make a mess. FK13850 comes with two grease packets. It also comes with the pre-screen and the o-ring required for the lid of the pre-screen the cartridge fuel filter and the large o-ring for the lid of the cartridge fuel filter now we're going to remove the fuel filter cartridge and the pre-screen the fuel filter cartridge will come first when removing this cartridge you do not want to jerk the filter out of there as fuel will come out of it you want to slowly pick up the cartridge and let it drain. And then reach over and grab your drain pan and place the filter cartridge into the drain pan. Now we're going to remove the fuel filter cartridge pre-screen, which is right here. The pre-screen is very similar to the actual fuel filter cartridge because when you remove the lid you want to let it drain for just a minute so that you do not make a mess. So now that you have removed the fuel filter cartridge and the pre-screen, you want to remove the o-rings from the pre-screen lid and from the fuel filter cartridge lid and place them off to the side. Then you want to use the o-rings that are supplied in the fleet guard fuel filter kit and place them back on the lid of the pre-screen and of the fuel filter cartridge and then you want to take the pre-screen and snap it into the lid And you hear it has a nice pop so that you know it's down in there correctly. And you also take the fuel filter cartridge and snap it into the lid. So that you can install them now. So now that you've installed the new O-ring supplied onto the lids and the new pre-screen in the filter kit, you want to take our grease packs that are also supplied in the filter kit and grease these o-rings. This will ensure a smooth install and no leaks. You also want to take the grease packs and apply grease to the o-ring of the fuel filter cartridge lid. Make sure that you have grease all the way around the entire o-ring so that it can get the best seal possible. When placing the filter down into the filter housing, just lightly set it down in there and then turn clockwise until you feel the filter set into place and once it sits into place you may begin tightening the lid down now you want to take your wrench and your 36 millimeter socket and tighten down the lids Now that the pre-screen is tight, I'll move to the fuel filter cartridge lid. Now you're ready to prime the fuel filter housing and start the vehicle. So once you get to around 300 pumps, you should feel a noticeable difference that the pump is much harder to depress so that you will realize you have received full prime and that the engine is ready to start.